Good afternoon, and welcome to our live demo featuring our BMU and BLE2 series. My name is Brian Nguyen, and I'm the engineering manager here at Oriental Motor. Today, I have two demos that we'll be going over, the BMU series and the BLE2 series. The BMU and BLE shares the same motor. They're both compact, high-performance, and highly efficient system designed to be easy to use and easy to change speed. Both are available in 30 watt, 60 watt, 120 watt, 200 watts, 300 watts, and 400 watts. The brushless motor offers a built-in Hall effect sensor to maintain closed loop speed regulation. This allows for plus or minus 0.2% regulation under load, meaning regardless of the load, the speed will be maintained. Another key feature of these motors is IP66 protection. The rugged and compact connectors with metal locking levers allow for direct connection to the drivers. You have the option to select three different cable orientation, cable exiting towards the shaft, cable exiting away from the shaft, and cable exiting perpendicular to the motor. Here we have our first demo, the BMU series. Here we have our BMU series, a 30 watt motor with a 15 to 1 gear attached to a belt and pulley to replicate a conveyor application. To the left sits our switch box. To the right is a controller, simple PLC, used for indexing motion. And over here inside this enclosure is our driver. First, I'll start the demo in speed control mode. As I rotate this dial, the speed will increase. Very simple. Right now it's displaying the actual motor speed, not the conveyor speed. However, that can be easily changed to reflect gear output speed or conveyor speed through the drive. Additionally, you can preset four different speed settings and those speeds can be selected via inputs on the back of the drive. Like I mentioned earlier, this product is designed to be easy to use. Let me go over some of the buttons on the driver and what they do. First, this is the operation switch. It allows you to start and stop the demo. To the right of that, it's a forward and reverse switch. It allows you to change the direction. And this dial allows you to change the speed or parameters. Once you take off this cover, there are additional hidden buttons. To the left is the mode. The mode allows you to switch from monitor mode, data entry mode, or parameter edit mode. And on the right, the function button cycles down to the parameters of each mode. Let me show you another neat feature of this drive. You can monitor load factor. Right now, the display is showing speed, about 25, 2519 RPM. If you push the mode button once and the function twice, now you're in torque monitoring mode. Notice when I'm applying load, you can see the torque value going up. Okay, I'm going to change it back to speed monitor. And I'm applying the same, roughly the same load to the system. And you can see the speed is maintained. Finally, on the, over here is the acceleration deceleration dial. You can change from 0.1 second all the way up to 15 seconds. Let's look at a few more modes on this demo. Right now, we'll run on one revolution. Now let's focus your eyes on the blue dot. It's stopping every revolution. We can also change the speed. It's pretty good for a speed control system, in my opinion. Next, we'll go for 10 revolution. After 10 revolution, it will switch direction.
There it is. And that concludes the BMU demo. Next up is our BLA2 demo. We have a 30 watt motor coupled to a 15 to 1 gearhead, and at the end is a brake mechanism that allows me to safely apply load to the motor. To the right is our BLE2 driver. The BLE2 adds additional features and advanced functionality to an already optimized package. It has a built in display and control panel to make it easy to change parameters on the drive. There's also a mini USB port that allows it to connect to a computer that allows for parameter changes through our free MXEL2 software. Now, I first run this demo in speed control mode. For this, I've gone ahead and changed the electronic gearing to reflect the 15 to 1 gear ratio, so the display speed is actual output speed. Speed is being controlled by this potentiometer over here. The range you see is between 3.6 to 266.8 RPM, which is 50 to 4,000 RPM at the motor side. Also, by rotating this dial, I can switch between speed monitoring and torque monitoring. Remember the current speed, 266.6. Right now, we're at about 9%, 10% load. I'm going to use the handbrake to increase the load to, let's say, 100%. If I switch back to motor speed, speed is still the same. And if I remove the load, the speed is also the same. There it is. For the next part, I'll be using the data that I've stored on the driver using the MEXEL2 software. This is a screen of the software. The top left window is operation data and the parameters to the drive. The window below that are monitoring tools that can be used to monitor the system. You can see alarm status, input status, output status, and so on. The large window on the right is the data table. We can preset 16 different data points. Each data point contains operating speed, torque limit, acceleration, and deceleration values. Here, I've preset four different operating speeds along with the torque limiting value. The torque limiting values are set to 20%, and you see why shortly. Now let's go back to the demonstration. Data zero is set for 10 RPM. We can confirm with a digital display. As I increase the brake lever, the torque value will go up. So the motor can go up all the way to 300%. However, I'm, I won't be able to stop this motor. When I enable the torque limiting function, remember the value I set earlier to 20%. I am now able to stop because it's maintaining a 20% limit. We can do this with another speed I preset, 250 RPM. There's no way I can stop this motor. But if I enable the torque limiting feature, I'm able to stop. So in addition to the torque limiting features, we can set minimum and maximum speed. We can change holding torque values. We can change the speed gain, just to name a few. So lastly, I would like to go over some of the motor options that are available with the BMU and BLE2 drivers. The motors are available starting from 30 watts all the way up to 400 watts. We have the round shaft option, the GFV parallel shaft gear. This gear also gives you the option to select H1 food grade grease. There's a JV parallel shaft and JB foot mounted parallel shaft. For hollow shaft option, we have the JH right angle and the FR flat gear option. Again, thank you for your time and for visiting our virtual booth. If you have any questions, please send us a message or check out our website at www.orientamotor.com.